Hello, I'm Glenda Lewis, and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. The Centers for Disease Control reporting there are now nine confirmed cases of monkeypox in Michigan. We previously reported about two cases found in Oakland County, one in the city of Detroit, and a fourth case was confirmed on the west side of the state in Kent County. It's unclear at this time where the other cases were identified. We have reached out to the State Health Department for more information and we'll keep you posted on any updates on air and online. A setback tonight in the search for answers about complaints of an odor near Stellantis Mac Assembly Plant in Detroit. The Michigan Department of Environmental, Great Lakes and Energy says the latest round of air samples was ruined. They could not be analyzed because of damage from high temperatures during shipping. Eagle and Stellantis are now working on a redo. We're told the samples will help further evaluate sources of potential odors at the plant. And Michigan State Police on a mission to save lives with a crackdown on speeders. They specifically targeted the area of I-96 and Joy today in response to complaints. Troopers on motorcycles, known as the Motor City Wolf Pack, are part of this two-day mission. They're working with Detroit police to go after drivers with a dangerous lead foot. We're told I-696 from DeQuinder to I-94 is another hotspot police are keeping an eye on. In last week alone, more than a dozen people died on Michigan roads. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now, the check of your 7 First Alert forecast. We are looking at some activity that's going to decrease as the evening goes along here. And as it goes away, there's a cooler, drier air coming in tonight. So that's really going to help things out. Here's a look at your extended forecast. Much more comfortable air tomorrow. Lower humidity, bright sunshine, 81 Thursday, 82 Friday. We do warm it up a little bit over the weekend. Saturday's at 86. Sunday, 84 with a chance for a shower, a thunder shower. Then next week is hot, 90 Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Probably finish in the upper 80s on Friday.